Hello everyone, it's week five of the holiday preparations prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. Um, now, during a five week month, we usually give you a bit more flexibility so you can create any project you like this week as long as it fits the holiday preparations prompt theme. Um, I'm going to be doing something with um, clothes pegs. I'm going to make a bit of a, a snowflake um, ornament. I've been wanting to try one of these for absolutely ages. Really easy, so let me show you um, how to do it. You are going to need um, eight pegs if you want to do this and what you'll need to do is take them apart so I grab them at the bottom here I've done a whole batch of these um, already so I'm now um, a pro <laughs> so they come apart um, really easily I'm going to save these um, I'm going to see if I can come up with a couple of ideas as to how we can use these as well because obviously um, there are a few left over now I just need to um, make two more of these um, because I've got um, a whole batch set to one side which I'll show you in a minute. Now, what you need, you need to do is um, grab some glue. I think that wood glue um, or PVA glue is the best for this. You could use a glue gun, but I just find that um, a glue gun falls apart um, over time and I want my decorations to last. And what you're going to do is put um, a small bead of um, glue along the flat side of the peg and you really don't want much. You don't want it um, spurting out um, around the edges so I put it on both sides here like this I'm going to do these two um, at the same time I was doing um, all eight um, or 16 I should say together um, when I was doing mine earlier and you know the glue didn't um, dry up so that's fine let me just put the um, pin back in my glue there we go and then what you want to do is just um, glue these together on the flat sides uh, make sure you get them the right way up and you just need to hold it together just make sure that it's nice um, and flat um, wipe away any glue that has um, spurted out mine's pretty pretty good and then just set that off to one side to dry so we'll do the same with this one here so we want the fat sides together like this and the narrow sides at the at the bottom um, just bring that together, wipe away um, any glue that um, that does seep out and just make sure um, that you have it so that it's flush at the top and the bottom. Um, I did a whole batch, as I've said, and a couple of mine um, shifted and so these are now no good. Um, you can see here that it's, it's moved. But this is testament to the fact that if you use um, this type of glue, this is um, Tonic Studios Craft Tacky Glue, there is no way that I can prise these apart because if I could I would have done um, and re-glued them so you're going to do that with all eight of your pegs or however many decorations you want to um, make and just set that aside for a few minutes and um, go and have a cup of tea and it should be dry by the time you've drunk it as the glue is dry on your pegs mine are still drying here but I've got one I prepared earlier you need to decide whether you want to leave the wood plain or paint it um, I'm just going to show you how to um, paint it in a really quick um, and efficient way I'm just going to put um, a small amount oh, she, she says at least I can get the lid off this one here and scrape the um, the, the leftover back into the bottle uh, the best way to do this is using um, one of these types of makeup sponge so I've got one here and I'm just going to tap um, the, the makeup sponge into the paint and the easiest way to do it is to apply some paint at the top and the bottom and then do the bumpy sides first so with a makeup sponge because you've got a point here it's just really easy to get into those crevices um, these only need one coat of paint um, or at least I only want to do one coat of paint because I want um, a rustic um, shabby chic uh, type look so I'm just going over all the sides like like this and you know you can whiz up a batch of these in in next to no time at all and because you're only using a small amount of paint it dries really quickly as well so we've got that done flip it um, around and then all you're going to do then is just tap it onto the flat bits that you've got um, unpainted at the bottom um, really nice and um, and easy and then I just put these onto a piece of uh, baking parchment um, to dry and again the you know the paint doesn't take very long to dry at all so you know go and have another cup of tea <laughs> um, until um, they're ready 
So I'm just going to pick it up like this and stick it on a piece of parchment paper. Next of all, we want to glue our snowflake together. And there are a couple of ways of doing this. You can either glue them with the um, chunky bit facing in like, like this. And then you'd have the four other pegs like that. Um, I prefer to do it the other way around so that I've got the round bit um, on the outside. So I'm just going to show you my method. I've cut myself two discs out of 300 GSM cardstock just using my one inch circle punch. This is really cheap from places like Hobbycraft. I would imagine Hobby Lobby and places like that would sell them um, too. Readily um, available. You just need one to start off with um, and you don't want to flood this with them. Um, with glue either. I'm just going to keep the glue there because I'll need that um, in a second. Um, so just smooth um, that with your with your finger. Here we go, I've got um, a tissue. And then you want to apply a small amount of glue just to the tip of the peg there like that and start either at the top or the side. It really doesn't matter. And we're just going to glue our snowflake um, on. And you can see that I'm gluing these towards the edge as well, rather than butting them together in the middle. So then we'll do the one at the top. We've got um, a bit of wiggle room, so if we don't get these straight to start off with, it doesn't matter. We can fiddle um, around with it um, in a minute. Do the same with the others as well. See, that one just needs to come down a bit just to allow a bit more room for that one to fit on. This one here, my glue does not want to stand up, does it? It just keeps toppling over. We'll just lie it down that way, which is where it seems it wants to be. And then finally, the last one. Bit of glue there as well. And that's pretty good. You just want to make sure that you've got um, your side ones straight and the top and bottom ones. So just fiddle um, around with it until you're happy with it. Um, that will do nicely. And then apply some glue over the other circle as well. So again, you know, you don't want this um, oozing out all over the place. So just take the excess off with your finger. And I'm going to stand up to do this to make sure that I try and get these circles um, aligned as best as I can. That will do um, nicely. Just make sure that that's nice and straight. Then you want to grab um, a piece of deli paper or baking parchment and just weight it down um, underneath a heavy book for 10 minutes or so snowflakes are dry now and nice and sturdy and you can see that um, I've got um, four different um, colours here. I've got um, the blue one, the grey one, two white and two natural. Um, colour wise of paint I used the Pepio Studio Acrylics in um, natural grey for this one here and I used Winsor & Newton Galleria powder blue for um, this one here. Of course white for these and these are um, unpainted um, and I want to do these in sort of um, a shabby um, chic style so let's have a look and see what we can do what you want to do to start off with is make sure that you've got um, your snowflake straight now I want something decide which is going to be your front I think um, the front is going to be that way for me so turn it um, around and I'm going to pop a little um, doily on the back um, there like um, like that um, just to cover up that circle of cardboard that I added. These um, little doilies here are just um, cut off an old ta uh, vintage tablecloth. I'm just going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac to glue that down. So just on the fuller areas so that um, it holds well and you don't, don't see the, the glue. So I need um, to go and grab a new one. I'm nearly out of um, glue. I've got a spare um, on my shelf somewhere. So, so that's that. Turn that back um, over. Then I don't know whether you can remember um, from some of last year's projects. I got these coat uh, felt coasters from Poundland. Um, a four pack for a pound. I've had these for the last couple of years and I think they're absolutely great um, for 
um, festive projects and so that's going to be glued there something like that and again I am just going to use a bit in fact what can I use to do to do this I'm thinking E6000 would probably be better but it's going to be um, tricky to glue it in fact um, I've got some E6000 here um, I'm going to apply a bit in fact that's that's not going to work um Hang on, let me wipe that off. I need to have a, a think about this. Okie dokie. Now, this is where it's important not to rush into these things. I suddenly realised that if I applied glue over all of my pegs here, um, I, it, it would be positioned where I didn't need it. So what I'm going to do is apply some glue um, just on the back of the snowflake here like this. And I'm going to use E6000. So try again. So I'm going to apply it directly to... Um, the felt just on these two snowflake parts here like this because um, the embellishment I'm going to use in the centre will um, hold the rest of it down so I'm just sticking that down there like that this stuff is really really strong so I know that um, it's going to hold it really well that's that. And then I've got these little um, snowflake decorations here. Now, I bought these in the pound shop last year or the year before, and they were Christmas decorations. They had um, a loop on the end. Have I got one here that I haven't chopped it off? It had um, just a little um, circle here, and I cut it off with my um, robust trimmers here. These are my floristry um, trimmers. And I'm just going to glue that down like that i think i'll have um, the straight um, edge going in that direction and again i'm going to use e6000 to glue that down and i'm just going to apply it just in the center there like that and there we are and that i just think that looks so so pretty isn't that gorgeous i love that um and i think i'm going to do exactly the same with um the gray one um, and the other blue one and the white ones but um, maybe something different for these two here so i'm going to carry on um, and make the rest of these now, before I start on the natural ones, I do want to add some details just around the um, outside of these. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. Let's um, do this one here first. I'm going to add some white um, Nouveau drops. Um, let me just use this um, card. In fact, what I ought to do, I've just been um, testing out a silver one um, as well for the white. Let me just test this first and get rid of any um, air bubbles. Really important when you're using Nouveau drops just to um, test it on a piece of um, pa paper first. Now we'll see whether this is going to work because of course we've got um, the join in the peg. I think that's going to be fine. I just think that will add a really nice touch around the outside of the snowflakes. Isn't that cute? I love it. I'm like a kid with um, things like this. I just love making decorations. I find it really relaxing. Um, I think they make wonderful gifts to give away to um, friends and, and family. And then one here as well. That one there is a bit um, off. Is that going to... Um, Yep, no, that's fine. So I'm just going to carefully put this out of harm's way. And harm's way, I mean Louis, because he is on the prowl. Looks like on the grey. I just think that's beautiful um, as well. Put those out of harm's way on a shelf out of um, Louis's reach. Um, I do think that the white would just get lost um, on these and I do want to keep it really quite neutral. I've got some of the Arteza 3D fabric paint and this stuff is pretty good to be honest. Um, not as good as the Nouveau drops um, but not bad. Certainly um, a lot better than the Dovecraft dimensional drops um, this is fabric paint but you you know can use it in the same way you see that one went a bit skew if um, dare I wipe it off no it's flattening I think that's going to be fine of course we've got the join here which is um, not helping things but the silver just looks much much better um, on this white we haven't got the Mr Whippy um, peak which is nice 
Um, the only trouble is with these, you have to buy them in a whole box of about 60 um, colours. There we go. So again, I'm just going to um, set that off to one side after I've done um, this one here as well. Now for these two here, I want to do something um, just a little bit more um, neutral. So I've pulled out these um, little doilies here, which I thought would go really nicely um, in the centre. Um, I found that the easiest way to glue these down is just to apply the glue directly to the disc. In fact, I might as well do them both at the um, same time and then spread it out um, with your little finger just so that it's um, a thinner thinner layer. Can you see both of um, these? There we go. Wipe um, your finger with a, with a tissue and then I can um, glue the doily down. I love these little doilies and again I think these are from um, a tablecloth that I cut up. It was when we were doing the beer mat um, coasters a couple of years ago. I had loads and loads of doilies and I've got loads left. I love them. I think they're beautiful. Okay, so what do um, I want to do next? I need to decide now. I could have one of these little um, white ones in the centre. In fact, that would look um, quite sweet, wouldn't it? I'm going to have a think um, on that perhaps. To decorate the front, I want to use um, a couple of doilies, um, proper doilies. These ones I got, um, oh gosh, I think I ordered these from eBay and I'm pretty sure this one here was from um, a vintage tablecloth that I cut up. In fact, I'm sure I've got the rest of it in the airing cupboard upstairs. But I think I want to glue that down there like that. Again, I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac. So we'll just put um, a small amount here spread it around so that there isn't um, too much and then you need to decide whether you want um, how you want it to be positioned I think I want these scallops going um, horizontally like um, like this there we go and then I've got this lovely one here which I'm going to place um, on top so again I'm just going to apply a little bit of Fabri-Tac just around this denser um, area here like that so you don't need too much um, glue decide which is the front and which is the back um, I think it needs to go this way round and again I'm just going to um, tap that on then I've got um, one of these little wooden snowflakes um, I got these from Sainsbury's um, a couple of years ago I'm sure they'll have them again this year um, I haven't um, actually looked because I've still got loads um, left they just come in a box there um, with the Christmas um, decorations and again I'm just in fact no I think I'll add um, E6000 to the back um, of this where have I put it here we go. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to add a really small amount of um, E6000. Decide which is your best um, side being white. Of course, you know, you do get the odd mark. And I'm going to have this with the points facing um, up this time. There we go. I just think that looks so cute. That's just lovely. Now I've got this leftover piece of trim. This is all I've got left of this one now, but I do have enough of these little flowers to add to the outside of both of my um, snowflakes. Um, so all I'm going to do, and how, what do I want to glue this down with? Again, I think it will have to be, um, in fact, actually, I'd probably be better off using my um, tacky glue for this, just because I've got the precision um, nozzle make sure that you end up with this the right way round i'm just going to apply a small dab just to the center there like that and i'm going to add one of these to each of the tips doesn't that look cute so i'll add these all the way um, around this is how these are both looking so that's the front and that's the back I've added one of the um, little flowers to the center there as well I think these look um, so cute same on the back there and what I want to do to add the finishing touches to um, this one here is just add some gold um, nouveau drops so again I'm just going to test this on a scratch piece of paper just to get rid of um, any air bubbles I am going to add gold to the center of the snowflake there like that. Um, I think I'm going to keep it to the center, but I do want to add some to the center 
of these little flowers here as well. Now, I hope I'm not making a big mistake doing this before um, the glue is completely dry, but um, I need to let these set um, overnight before I decide how um, I'm going to hang them up. Oh, good grief. Uh, right, there we go. We've ruined that one, you see. Good job I did it um, now. So let's move that one out of the way. I'm going to have to apply um, a brand new one to um, that piece there. Let's just um, test that out um, again. There we go. So I'll apply um, a new one to that. Good job. Um, I've still got um, a few of these left. And I'll do exactly the same to the other one here as well. These have all been drying overnight and I am absolutely thrilled to bits with how they've um, turned out. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm really glad that um, I added the um, Nouveau Drops and the Arteza um, fabric paint. I think that's worked really well. So let me just um, show you. Let's get, get rid of some of these. We've just got too many um, on the desk here. Um, but I thought that um, this was going to be my least favourite, but I just love the um, natural tone my least favorite i think um is the gray i think it would have been nicer if the gray was perhaps um a little bit um lighter perhaps i love the blue and the white i think they're gorgeous um but what um i want to do now is um find a way to hang them let me just grab some threads As you can see i pulled out some um fine silver and um gold ribbon um, and that's what i've used um to hang these um decorations i've chosen the gold for this one here just to pick out the gold that's on the um tips and silver for all of the um others and let me just quickly show you how i did that I cut myself um, a long piece of ribbon because i want the recipient to either have the option to hang it from a window or um a tree um, if they hang it from a window, I think the length um, is ideal or a tree, you would need to um, shorten it. And all I'm doing is just tying it um, into the crevice here um, because I think that works um, quite, quite well. So I've just tied it into um, a double knot like that, pulling nice and tight. And then it's just a case of um, tying um, a nice, neat knot um, at the end as well, just like this. And as I've said, if um, the recipient um, wants to shorten it, then they can just snip the ends and um, make it shorter so tidy up um, the end just by snipping that off there like that and I just think those are really lovely aren't they sweet so here we are clothes peg snowflakes I had so much fun making these I'm really pleased with them I think they're um, ever so cute um, and I'm certainly going to be hanging one of these um, from my window let me know which one is your favorite um, as well I'd be really interested to hear I've got a couple of other ideas that have sprung to mind as well using um, clothes pegs so I'll try and post something um, next week um, but just to clarify of course it's a five week month um, so it's a kind of wild card this week so feel free to post any project that relates to holiday preparations of your choice and I just hope you have as much fun doing it um, as I did. Don't forget to go and check out Kylie's video as well and see what she's been up to this week. I'll leave the link to Kylie's video as always in the description box below. I'll also leave the link to the Facebook group the Mixed Media Emporium so if anybody um, is following along with the prompt this month the holiday preparations prompt and you want to share what you've been up to please do feel free to come along um, and join us you'll find the link to the Facebook group as well in the description box below um, but if you enjoyed my project this week as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up um, do let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I just want to say that I appreciate your feedback and comments so much. I receive so many kind words and it just means the world to me. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. But thanks for watching everyone. Do take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.